Hi guys, I just noticed one of my old original action cameras is looking a bit sad. And I realised that the reason it's all popped up like that is the battery has gone puffy. Can't actually pull it out. I don't know if I can... squeeze it down enough to get it out or we'll have to take it apart and get it out in the opposite direction oh that is moving <laughs> dear me that is well crushed well not crushed expanded the opposite to crushed <sighs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. A little bit puffy. 2019. August the 7th. I bought that battery for it. Yeah, I think we can safely say that one's no longer serviceable. I expect we could have a look inside, couldn't we? I'm surprised that's held together as well as it has. Although it was inside there, so it couldn't go anywhere, could it? Oh, there we go. That is actually popping apart now. Yeah. One puffy lipo. Technically, I could buy a replacement and solder it in there. But I've got quite a few of these anyway. I've got quite a few of those little cheap action cameras. Oh, well, there we go. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Expect I could pop a good battery in there and see if it still works. No reason why it shouldn't. It's all a bit sticky and horrible where it's been abused. It's got number one on it. It isn't my first one. It's just that I started numbering them after I realised I got quite a few of them and couldn't tell which one was which. Evo DX, very pleased with them. I don't think you can get them anymore. I'm sure you can't get them anymore. Um, I had a, I think I had three of them. And then I bought another one and it was the, a slightly different one, even though it was sold as being the same thing. And I wasn't so happy with the, the very last one. But the first ones were excellent for what they were, cheap. And did the job. Just taking a closer look inside the battery, 
I'm trying to work out if that's actually got a protection circuit on it. Eight two oh five A. I don't know, DW one. I have a pouch full of spare batteries. Yeah, that looks okay. Full battery. Will do 4K, 25 frames per second. I remember when I first got these, I was quite excited about that because I hadn't done any 4K work with it with any of my cameras. My main camera, my Canon PowerShot SX60HS is only 1080p. So yeah, I got quite excited. It, and it does do 4K. It's not terribly good. It probably upscales it, but uh, I did do some video at 4K and then found my video editor of, at the time couldn't handle 4K, so it was a bit of a waste of time. Uh, I think that's about it, really. We don't need to go through everything. Looping, timestamp, oh. Let's see what... I see, yeah, date and time, yeah. Exposure, time lapse. I think this is one of the ones that when you do time lapse, it takes individual pictures and then you have to stitch them together into a video. I can't remember. Date and time, 2016. Yeah, okay. Right, 2016, how do we go? 25, 12, oh, went too far, 17, Fifteen, about fifteen ten at the moment. Year, year, month, month, day, day. Yes, that's the way I like it. Uh, how do we get out of this? Probably that one, I think. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything on there. Shouldn't be. Version, let's have a look. I should think that's 2017 So we can guess that this is, what's that, eight years old? Or 18, eight years old. Yeah, eight years old. And it has served me well. Oh, another thing I use them for is underwater. But it needs a waterproof case, which comes with it. Put them in rock pools and things like that. Anyway, that's, uh, that's okay. Oh, I can't get out of it again now. I'll just hold it in, that'll shut it off. Yeah. Put that one back on. 
all that grey stuff is blue tack. I just put blue tack on them and stick them to things. And we will dispose of that one. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.